so uh jumping right into the point so i want my image i, I did a java project uh, and i want that to be made as a docker image and be hosted in hub.docker.com so go ahead and create your id uh, in hub.docker.com and it is pre pretty uh, self explanatory and once you're ready now the scenario is that you have a java project so not uh, just go to spring.io and go to the guides and uh, open the first guide the very famous building a restful web service guide it says that uh, when you after building the service once you hit the, hit this link you will be getting uh, uh, this json payload and if you provide a user name you will be getting this json payload uh, this is a very famous project to learn uh, restful web services uh, on a spring boot framework so what i'm going to do is i'm going to download the zip file and uh, this is going to be really fast so when you open this uh, there is a folder named complete uh, this is the uh, this is the pre written project which works end to end i am going to uh, name it as docker image uh, creation demo and uh, we're going to use that i have my intelj open ready locked and loaded go to the folder what we just renamed open it and it should be ready for you once that's ready uh, go ahead and clean install it and we will first check whether it is actually working in our local so what we're going to do is once it's built successfully we're going to go ahead and start the application uh, uh, using the application a class that is the main fun main class of this project it says it is running in localhost 8080 so let's go ahead and why not just provide the same user uh, this endpoint and it says hello user as given here so the project is actually working now that's not the point now our, what we want to do is to make this project a docker uh, image so to achieve that, I have uh, done, done some homework and I have it ready as a, a set of artifacts in my Docker artifacts GitHub repository. You can see the link in the uh, video. Go ahead, step one, what I've done is first create a folder named Docker in your SRC main directory. So go to your SRC main directory, create a new folder. Um, and name it as docker and then what you're going to do is you have uh, i have given a docker file here we'll go line by line what it actually means so a copy and create a new file the file name is case sensitive so watch the syntax and it's asking me to install plugin and mentality i think i have never installed docker integration okay go ahead and install it so what the basic basically means is uh, Docker Docker file means it's, it's the base it, it's a it's the uh, uh, book a recipe kind of book used by Docker engine to create an image. So what it means like from Open JDK it means like choose Open JDK as my base image and on that create a volume temp and then choose the file the name and file jar whatever jar I'm going to provide touch the file to give the latest timestamp. And then uh, this whole thing. Sorry, guys, I don't understand this. Uh, maybe I'm learning Docker now. So, but this is the entry point. And one more thing I'm going to give is expose 8080 port because that's the port in which the Docker is going to run. This syntax can be found online uh, if you go and go ahead and check for Docker file syntax. You will get a bunch of documents, docker file reference and uh, this document will definitely help you how to go about it. So now you have a docker file which is the uh, recipe book for creating a docker image and you have paste, placed that under a docker directory under me. According to my uh, github uh, docker artifact what I have said is the second step is to Place the docker build the build docker file groovy in the src main scripts so the first step is uh, create a new directory called scripts 
and in that I'm going to paste this file. I'm going to download this file, save as maybe uh, I will just download it in my downloads directory. Open the file, copy the file, and I put it into the scripts. And I just choose the same name, but it's wrong. I'm going to rename it. So it's a groovy file. So what this says, this, this script file goes to the project base directory which is src uh, sorry which is the docker image opens the folder src main docker docker file and gets the text into template string and then it initiates a creation of a file docker file text and it creates a directory under a target folder so we have a target folder which is created once you run the maven install command which is not present during the public creation so this will be ignored by the git ignore if you have any so this will be created or this will be available only when you compile a jar so that's why we don't keep the docker file directly in target folder so we keep it from keep it here and then when we compile the project we we point that we just copy the contents of this file into a location we specify and from there we run the script from there we run the image creation so this simple groovy script is what it is doing is basically copying the file from here and putting it into the target folder when we start a maven package command now so this is ready now next step according to my um, flow is what i'm telling is open the form xml and uh, use this uh, plugins so i have a couple of plugins uh, i'm going to talk about this plugins now so I have this plugin, Fabric IO, uh, which is useful for creating a uh, image, a Docker image from a Java project uh, when using Maven. So I and the other one is the Groovy plugin, uh, which is used to run the script. I have I have placed this. So this will this will, this will run first when the image creation command is provided. So it is telling execute the execute the script present in this directory so i have two uh, plugins here go to your uh, form xml and go to the part it says plugin and in that we already have a spring boot maven plugin to give the maven spring boot run command so here paste these two plugins and then another one nitty bitty thing i have here is uh, i am saying what is the docker image prefix and image name so this is the name so find your uh, properties right it's here and just you know copy paste there so this is i know this is my docker image because that is my username and uh, greeting project i'm going to name it as docker image creation spring boot demo such a weird name so this is the name i have given for the image so when you go to dockerhub.com under my uh, this is the homework i did so if, if there is only one image right now and what we're going to do is once i build this this image should be present in my docker hub when i push it when i publish it so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, stop this and uh, I'm just going to cross check whether I have everything what I need as per my recipe. So I have done these steps and yes, yeah, everything is ready for building an image. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going, going to terminal and I'm going to run this command map maven clean package. Before that, I want to show what are the images I have in the system. So I'm going to go back for images. I have OpenJDK, uh, CentOS, uh, Elasticsearch and Kibana. So now I'm gonna, gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run Maven clean install, sorry, Maven clean package and uh, Docker build. This command is going to work only because of this plugin, the fabric IO plugin, whatever we have here, fabric IO is a website. Uh, they are the plugin providers. You can go ahead and check their website for Fabric 8 uh, for more detail about how to create your uh, images uh, using Fabric 8. 
there are other plugins also now i'm going to run docker build so this is going to build an image in the system and it's going to give this name to it the name whatever we provided docker image creation spring boot demo it is running step by step uh, whatever we provided in the docker file so if you go to the target folder whatever script we wrote it should be docker file docker file this content is available under here because that's what we specified in our uh, builder docker uh, file groovy now if you go and run my command docker images you can see that we have two images one with the version number one is latest because that too is given in my form xml what i have said is create two images with two different tags uh, with the latest tag and another is a version tag and you can see it here latest in a version this version is being picked up from the version whatever we gave you that's why we have 0.1.0 so now we have the image built and ready in my system but we don't have it in my git uh, my docker hub repository yet so to do, do that we are going to run another command which says docker push but to achieve that we need to edit our settings xml file so go to maven open settings xml i'm going to pass the video now because it has my password so this is where your, your password should go and uh, username should go and this is the id it falls under the server's xml object and i'm going to fill this up and pass and continue now we are going to run maven clean package docker push and it's going to take five minutes so it starts the build as usual it touches the file it's building the image once again and finally it will start pushing this is where this is this is the this is the fun part it starts pushing now so all these are different layers in our file which one is CentOS, one could be java and the last one that is being built is the image whatever we wanted to push into the docker hub so i'm going to pass the video for five minutes we are already uh, we have pushed it and if you go to uh, and there you go so this is what we just built now to demonstrate whether this is working or not what i'm going to do is i'm going to go go ahead and i'm going to see what are the images i have in system i have these images i'm going to remove this image i'm going to copy i'm going to docker remove image f Oh, that's a pain. It's a pain. Docker remove image F. Sometimes I copy the carriage return and it gives me this issue. So now if you run my Docker images, I don't have that here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and pull it uh, using from the Docker hub. So Docker pull you open the docker hub it will do the command for that so it says docker pull i'm going to use this command j and i'm going to it's pulling the latest because i have specified the version so it is downloading now as a fresh image into my system so if you go ahead and run docker images now there it is it was created four minutes ago uh, yeah, i don't know why it shows such a timestamp but it has been downloaded just now and now if you go to kitematic go to open kitematic it ships along with your docker and go to my images and this is what we just downloaded and go to create it will start the application and make it available in 8080 port inside the container and uh, this is what we see here and but it will be mapped to one of our host ports so if you go to the port number 32773 if you go to local host 32773 and now type greeting i think it's greeting right yeah and so name there you go so that's how you create an image out of a java maven project and push it to docker hub download it and run it in your host machine as a docker container 
जय राम